Hello and thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and leave a like, leave any thoughts, comments and feedback. Um, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this right now, Southampton are the best team to watch in this league right now. They lost 9-0 to Leicester last season and I remember watching that game and it was a disaster. Start to finish, everything that could go wrong went wrong. I remember seeing the fans, obviously, on, on the TV. This little boy, it was his first time uh, going to, to watch his team. He went with his dad. It was before the game. He was really optimistic. And afterwards, I know. What, what can you say after that? But since then, the, the powers of recovery from this manager, the powers of recovery from this manager and what he's done for those players and sometimes I think we we give managers an out and this is all managers at the 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 that manage at the bigger clubs. Sometimes we give them a bit of an out because we say we say, well, oh, you know, they didn't get the they didn't get these three or four signings or they didn't have a transfer window or oh it's you know even to the point where we go and rightfully so in a lot of cases where we say um, the structure of the club it's the structure like from top to bottom and a lot of those in a lot of the times I think we're right the structure of a club if it's not right if the recruitment's poor um, that has a, a huge impact but sometimes, but what watching Southampton yesterday? I've watched them a few times this season, and I watched them yesterday, and they ran out three 0 winners, rightfully so. I don't care. People say, um, "Well, Sheffield United bottom of the league doesn't matter." Don't care. That's Sheffield United have been playing well this season, and I don't think their position in the league, their league, is a reflection of how they've been performing. They were really unlucky against Leicester. They deserve something from that game. And they've got uh, Man United, they've got my own team this uh, Thursday. And I know Sheffield United will play the game of their lives against Manchester United. But it will mean absolutely everything, as it seems to when uh, clubs of you know the smaller clubs if you like and I, I never like that too but when the smaller clubs come up against the bigger clubs and against the Manchester United they their performances just they go up they go up they skyrocket but Southampton have a group of players that are not uh, that that people wouldn't would, people wouldn't say these players are world class they wouldn't say this player um, you know uh, or Liverpool are looking for this player, or United uh, want this player, or you know, these players are doing an exceptional job, and they are playing for their manager, and they play a brand of football that right now no other team in this league is playing. I think you know defensively, right? They, they play as a unit, and they're good to watch. I can't praise them enough. It's very difficult when you, when you, when you've been following a club for a number of years. When you're invested in a club, it's very difficult to sometimes um, sit down and just give your time to another club. It's very difficult to sit there and and, admi and I can't remember. I can't remember. Uh, uh, other than Leicester, other than when Leicester won the league in um, 2016. Remarkable season, and they played as a unit, and they and they loved their manager, and, and it was really sad how that ended. You know, just the number of, just so many months later, uh, the manager was gone. But this Southampton team are the best team in the league to watch right now. Now I know they lost to United, and people will say against Spurs that you know they lost, but just from. From top to bottom, you know, from from the back to the middle to the front, everything about that club, Bednarak and uh, Vestergaard are the best uh, defensive partnership 
in this league right now. The communication between them is, you've got to see it to believe it. I'm just, I applauded that performance yesterday against Sheffield United. And like I said, people will say Sheffield United is the bottom of the league, they've only got one point. That is not an accurate reflection. Sheffield United were just overrun, they were overpowered. And Southampton, something has happened at that football club. I don't know what Ralph Houston had thought. Apologies if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong. He has done something at that club. He gets the absolute best out of those players. And and you look at you look at um, you look at someone like Nathan Redmond. And you think, God, this guy. You would love to see a Nathan Redmond playing. Uh, in in like Europe, you would love to see Southampton get into Europe and Nathan Redmond play in Europe because the guy has given so much to that club. James Ward Browse, what a player! What a player he is. Danny Ings looks rejuvenated. No, he had uh, that injury for a couple of weeks, but looks rejuvenated. Che Adams, so many players in this team that right now I would take. I would take any one of those players and put them in to the Manchester United uh, starting eleven because they have that hunger and that desire and that commitment. They have they they, they play in a way that I have not seen a Southampton team play before. Southampton have have been have been um, in the past. You know they've had, they've had sort of decent seasons, but to me. I've never watched them. I've never, I've never thought like they're playing Arsenal. They're playing Arsenal on Tuesday night, and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that more than you know any top of the table clash. Because the way that Southampton play uh, is exciting. It's exciting for for a neutral. It's exciting for me as a United fan. It just brought something different to the league, and I think that can only be good for the league. I think that. If Southampton can sort of break into that that European bracket, I don't think they're going to make the top four, top five, top six. Well, I think they can make the top six. And the question is, who misses out? You know, people are lauding, um, you know, Everton for their... I know they've had a bit of a, a rocky patch recently, but they beat Chelsea. You know, people are pushing Everton, saying Everton, are, they'll get into Europe, they've got Ancelotti. You know, and people are talking about Arteta saying at the beginning of the back end of the last season he's the future he's, he's this bright young coach well this is where this is where, where Hassan Hüttel has, has proved he is a top coach he has proved that he is a top coach and people are talk people talk about we're talking about Pochettino when he was at Southampton I hope they're talking about Ralph, Ralph Hüttel right now Apologies again if, if I'm not pronouncing or saying that right. I hope they're talking about him in the same way because Pochettino, Espanyol, went to Southampton, did a really good job, went to Spurs, got into the Champions League final. I'm not saying that's going to happen for this manager, but right now, it, you must absolutely love it if you're a Southampton fan. And again, for me as a United fan, I, I, I sit down and I enjoy watching Southampton. For someone that's watching a United team that's struggling to perform, that's up and down at the minute, it's it's nice to just um, watch a team that you're not fully invested in. It's nice to watch a team that you're not that you don't support. But it would be great, and I'm, I, I I think it'd be great for the league. It is good for the league, and I just think these players, James Ward Prowse, is he's so underrated. His free kicks are immense. His, his uh, delivery is fantastic. Uh, you know, again, we just not. I don't want to go off a sell up to Anti United, but you know, just bigger clubs. As I say, that they have to. I think a lot of these. I think we as fans, as I said at the beginning, we make excuses for our managers. We make excuses for our clubs. Sometimes we will say. 
We we need we we're, we're two or three players away. He's proving, he's proving us wrong. He's doing something, he's doing something at Southampton, and just sit down and watch the way they play. Watch the way they play. Go back and watch that game against Sheffield United. Go back and watch that first half against uh, Man United. Because they bossed that game against us. And, we, and it was only for a good second half in Solskjaer's uh, changes that we got we got away with one, really. So, um, I'm really excited for that game tomorrow night. I don't know how Arsenal fans are feeling. Um, you know, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough now. 15th in the league. Southampton, third in the league now. Uh, or they were before this video was recorded. But um, let me know what you think anyway in the comments. Leave your thoughts and uh, obviously drop me a subscription. You can follow me on Twitter at Adam Blaze Lives and I will see you all soon.